Hi there, so in this video we are going to take a look at how member functions in class work in C++. So first thing, open Visual Studio and create empty C++ project. You can have any other ID if you want and you just have to create one empty project in that ID. Now, here I have one demo.cpp file within which I'm going to first call for iostream using include iostream and then using namespace standard for our declaration here now next thing is we will make use of keyword class now here we are going to define our class with name let's say animal or let's say farm okay so I have this farm class and here what I'm gonna do is I'm going to define some public members for this class okay so let's say I have integer sheeps then I have double sales okay now when we are declaring some functions we have to specify whether we are going to choose those functions as public member or protected or private so here we are going to take a look at public void and then let's say the message is something like our ships are shipped from southern location so we will use shipping as that method name okay so what we have here in our public category is we have integer ships then double sales and then shipping okay so we are just here going to define that outside our class so for that what we will do is we will simply call void then our farm class and then shipping okay and here I'm simply going to output ships are shipped from southern locations okay now what we did here is we called for this public function and we declared that outside our class you can also have class inside sorry function inside this class farm but to show you how that public function can be created outside I have shown you this method where you are calling for this shipping function from your class farm you need a double colon to specify that the function shipping is from your class farm okay now let's create our main method and inside here what you will find is you will create farm class fm and then we will simply use fm dot let's say sales to 34.52 then fm dot sheeps 12 now I will use C out and then let's say sales of sheeps and here we will just specify fm dot sales then C out then number of sheeps fm dot sheeps and then we are simply going to check our fm dot shipping function okay so what we did here so far is we created a class then created public mem members of that 
I also declare shipping function within our public so outside my class I have declared my shipping function and then I have specifically associated that with our farm class to do that we use our class name then double colon and then function name that shows that this function belongs to your farm class okay so let's execute and see how this works okay so it is quitting quickly because we didn't use system pause and we also have to use return zero for that let's just execute again okay so we have that link error for now let me just clear the solution now let me use release And as you can see, it prints out the sheep's value for sales, the number of sheep, and also our shipping message that ships are shipped from southern locations. Okay, so you learn how to access that member function in class in C.